Welcome, it's King Lizard on Xbox One with more Dirt Rally and Stage 2 of the Open Rally Championship for the 1960s and I'm in Germany again. So quite fast track, the first track that I drove on this particular series of the rally. However, I've kept finding, I was a little bit slow there, kept finding that I was kind of prematurely judging corners and slowing down too much. I'm definitely doing that again at the moment. I'm just extra wary of those rocks of doom that are sat there on the sides of the road waiting for me to rip my axle off. So I'm playing it a little cool. As per usual, the rules are this run is my run. It's live. I'm doing it as I speak. And whatever the result is, at the end of this is my result towards the overall series for the Open Championship the 1960s rally which means if I write my car for another turn on the out of the race then that's my place obviously my goal is to get a podium place or obviously ultimately I'd like first place I was far too slow through that corner as well I'm definitely gonna have to up my game here if I'm gonna do better now currently the split there is giving me a plus, so I'm actually in first place at the moment. Oh my god. Way too fast into that section with the Rocks of Doom. Um, wasn't concentrating there as I went into that straight nearly. Could have been quite a nasty little accident there and it could have ripped me off out of the race. Fortunately, I had quick reactions, managed to drive through those rocks and avoid uh, terminal damage. So I need to keep my wits about me here. I've got a lot of time to make up now. I'm definitely going to be in deficit at the end of this stage, I'm pretty certain. Nearly screwed that corner up. I was actually going left then until my brain kicked in and I realised I was going the wrong way. So that was a rather quick re-correction there. Which will have cost me more time, of course. And time is of the essence in these rallies. So that's definitely going to hurt my split time here even more. On that runoff I just did so it's a really nice sort of open tracks on this Germany rally um, however I'm finding it really hard judging these corners I think it's because they're quite flat corners in general and it's like you can't really see them until you're on top of them if you know what I mean some of the other corners you sort of see from a distance and you can kind of get a bit of a you know a few seconds to work out how you're going to take it but with these ones I'm finding the corners kind of in my face and then it's too late and I'm making mistakes and stuff so that one wasn't too bad because obviously the, with the markings for the corner so that's always helpful though sometimes my brain the snores kick in when I see those markings so here we go again far too slow into that section as well I think I've pretty much damaged this stage as well um, or at least this sector of the stage I should say unless I can really reel some time here at the end close to those rocks there I might drop down the rankings in the overall championship we shall see so getting to the end of this split I'm pretty certain it's going to be down as well because I've just again too slow into that corner can't seem to get this car this Mini Cooper 1960s to drift it just seems to want to grip the road all the time. It's just obviously the way I'm driving it because I've seen other players doing it fine. So I just need to get used to it. Um, obviously my second outing in this car. So still learning the ropes of it, shall we say. But I am down. I'm only down by a second actually, or 1.7 seconds. Which isn't anywhere near as much as I thought I was going to be down by. However, I just did drive over that corner back there, which definitely slowed me down some more. So I'm sure I'm going to lose some more time there. Now, I get a green sector there because of obviously that improvement between the last stage, or sorry, the last sector and the sector prior to that. There was a big improvement on time there, so that's why it went green, not because I'm in the lead. So halfway through this final section quite a fast old section this quite enjoying this just need to uh, get my game head together for the next one at the moment I'm having some severe problems getting used to this kind of German stage or rally stages if you like of the competition it just seems to be messing with my psyche a bit and I'm making lots of mistakes and just being too slow in general uh, again quite slow there through that corner too so I'm sure that's going to have its uh, consequences, although I'm not far from the finish. I actually might have made that in a plus, you know. 
So I've got 453 overall. And gee, I got a first place. That is my first first place in the rally so far. So I'm quite happy with that result. That was not what I was expecting. I thought I was doing quite bad there. It just goes to show that it really isn't over until the fat lady sings. So I was quite surprised that I got that result, as you can probably tell. So pretty good stuff there. That will hopefully increase my championship position overall, at least for this stage anyway. Um, obviously, I've got the rest of the rally to get through yet. These first two I found to be a little bit imposing on me, to be honest. I'm finding it quite hard to, what's the word, um, to kind of grasp the circuit. It's kind of like because it's quite flat, the road in general, it's just very hard to read the road, or at least that's what I'm finding. And I think that's why I'm slowing down a lot in these corners. I'll be honest, the fact that there's these dirty great big rocks on the corners is good enough reason to slow down anyway. But because um, obviously what I don't want to do is write the car off because then that can really, you know, I get a couple of those in the championship series and that's pretty much my podium hopes out of the way, I'm sure. So don't really want to go down that road. Um, however, I'm you know I'm pushing it here as much as I can. It just seems that my you know brain's just not getting me into drift gear when I get around these corners and stuff. I feel like I'm just driving around them still. Obviously, I'm still pretty new to this Mini Cooper S. That was me flying off the track there and just kind of scoring the goal between those two or those several stones that were standing up there. But uh, quite a near miss that one. That could have been quite fatal for the Mini. On the rally front, I've also picked up two more games on Xbox One. So I picked up a dirt cheap copy of the eSports edition of WRC5 World Rally Championship 5. So I'll be putting some of that up in the next few weeks, just so you guys can take a look at that, see what you think. And also Sebastian Leo Rally, a game that I was reasonably negative about when I first played the demo and to be honest I haven't played it again yet I've installed it so it's it's ready to roll and I'll be doing some vids and also some more feedback on but that game um, basically it was you know it's very cheap so I took a chance yeah, on it and you know figured that one you know Easy. one car one track in the demo not really a lot to judge a game by so I figured I'd give it another chance spent some money on it and now I'll see how the dice roll and let you guys know. In the meantime, I will take this opportunity to thank you guys and gals for watching and for all of your support. If you'd be yeah, kind enough to rate one. the video, that would be Easy. absolutely fantastic. If you're not a subscriber, please feel free to click that sub button anytime. Everyone's welcome at King Lizard's Game Lounge. Take care, keep well, and enjoy the rest of the replay. Turn left one, don't cut. Left 5 continues for 150 over crest. Turn half and right, don't cut.